Okay, so guys, I'm going to show you not only how to throw a cast net, but how to catch something in a cast net. And so I've got my cast net. This is a six-footer. So uh, this is a medium-sized net, and I've got big loops of it in my right hand. I'm holding the horn of the net at the top. I'm going to grab about halfway down. Then I'm going to grab the leading edge. And some people say that you don't have to put the net in your mouth to throw it. But I think you do. I think you need to taste the salt marsh when you're cast net. So what I'm going to do, put this in my mouth. I'm going to reach down one arm length, and I'm just going to turn around and throw this thing. So here we go. If you want to try and throw as much of a circle as you can, and then I'm going to give it just a slight tug, and then I'm going to pull it in and see if I caught anything. And sometimes you don't, so it looks like I'm going to have to give it another try. Okay, so I had to walk down the bank a bit, but I did catch some fish, and I'll put them in the bucket. And I recognize one species, that's for sure. Let's see what it is. One of them is a mullet. Actually, boy, they are super jumpers. That one almost flew out of the... So here's a mullet. And man, that striped mullet. And so this is a really, really common fish in the salt marsh. Look where the mouth is. This animal feeds on algae and things like that, usually down towards the bottom. And look at that shape. Boy, really an athletic shape. Powerful tail. And this is one that can just jump straight out of the water, sometimes, sometimes several feet out of the water. And this is a young one. They get about this big or so. Look at the eyes mounted on the side. Counter shading, dark on the top light on the belly, and that's what you see with fish. Light belly, dark back. Makes sense. Something like an, something like an osprey flying above it sees that dark back, it blends in with the bottom. If there's a predaceous fish looking up, it sees that white belly against the sky. And that's a great animal adaptation, a good example of form and function. One just jumped out, so a smaller mullet. Looks like all we have is mullet, striped mullet. So this is our animal of the week, is the striped mullet.